you know about that? I don't really have a good feeling about this. It will work. Alright? And when it does, what do you want me to get for you? A new car? No. We have like lots and lots of it in the garage. I don't want any car. I don't want anything. I just want you to come back home. Like safe. <laughs> okay. Since you don't want anything. Ah, I will have to surprise you then. Mm. Yes, and I'm going to take care of myself, so you do the same, okay? Okay. Get her on. Okay? Alright, I miss you. I miss you too. I miss you. Just one more hug, please. <laughs> Alright. Hey. Look at the time. Alright, bye. I miss you. I miss you more. Yeah. I'll miss you. Miss you. Love you. Mr. Andrew, I am so, so sorry. As we speak, he's on air to Japan. Yes. Can he wait, like, can't you delay for one more day? Oh. Okay, once he lands and calls, I would ask him the way forward. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Okay. Okay, bye. Mm. <laughs> All right. But this I have somewhere to be. Please sit down, Mr. Andrew. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Oh. Yes. Um, I, I spoke with your husband and uh, he said we could put the paper, uh, property paper in your name instead of waiting for his return. Okay. Yes. Um, you know, we discussed that already. I am my husband. Oh, great. It's Let's get on it already. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mr. Andrew, why is this property located? Um, actually, it is a uh, design estate, and it's not really far. It's not really far from here. Yeah. Mm. Your husband even saw it a week ago. I see. Okay, um, what's going to happen is that, can I um, come see it so I'd confirm if it's, you know, my taste? I hope that won't be a problem with you. Not at all, sure. I'll be glad to show you. Okay, so after seeing it, I'll sign this, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And um, you said you don't want anything? Oh, thank you very much. I am okay. Not even water. No, I'm all right. Okay, that's fine. So we'll see. Sure, thank okay. you. Please. Are you not lucky? <laughs> Babe, if Benson is half the man Nick is, mm. believe me, the whole world will hear my voice. <laughs> this is just little. Really? Yes. My name is in every property we own. Wow. Like the houses, the cars. Come on, name it. So this is just, it's like, it's normal. Babes, is the trust for me. And I actually appreciate him for that. Yes, I don't take it for granted. Meanwhile, tell me, how is your wedding preparations coming? Well, it's going well. It's going fine, thank God. Please, where's your own money for the Ashwebi? You're a big man's wife, so you shouldn't be the last to pay. My darling, that won't be a problem. I'll do that right away. From our joint accounts. Uh -huh. What happened to your own personal account? I don't spend any money from my own account. I don't take out a penny. 800, right? Yes, please. Wow. Your account number, call it. 1123-47-503. Eight hundred K, right? I'll give you more than eight hundred. Hmm. Just that you want me. 
Please, I'm waiting for the alert. For extra cake. Thank you. Now, I don't understand it. Why does it have to be this particular moment? Are you up there? You're seeing this happening to us. What kind of a careless man is me? <laughs> I don't get it. Nick, I don't understand you. How can you be so careless? How could you make this kind of mistake, eh? Why do I always have to suffer for something you single-handedly made yourself? Some, some mistake you single-handedly, you know, cost on your own. Liz, please. I really do not have time. You see, this is early in the morning. It's too early for us to be having this kind of talk. Please. Okay. Nick. Please, is this a joke? Are you... Is this a prank? It's not a joke. We are broke. Cleaned out. All the company shares. Collapsed. But I warned you. Nick, I warned you. I told you not to put all your money into that business. But not because you were stubborn. You did what you wanted to do without a proper survey. What is this now? Okay, tell me. What are we going to do? I'm listening. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking... Maybe we can rely on your savings for now until we sort these things out. Are you a joke? When did you become a clown? Can you hear yourself well? Rely on what? Depend on what? My own money. Yes. My money, you're saying yes. You're not ashamed of yourself. Money that I, I, I made, like, my hard earned money. Nick. I don't understand. Liz. You're my wife. I married you. And for you to stand before me, to tell me that it is your money, honestly, it, it just doesn't sound right to it me. It sounds right. The money I gave you. Yes, you gave me that money. So it is my money. I don't understand. Why do I always have to suffer for something? Something I did not do, I'm always pushed into it. You made this mistake yourself, you need to sort it out yourself. Do you understand? If all these things you're doing is for you to like rely on my money or touch my money, my money that is in the bag, you're not going to try it. Do you get me? Sort it out yourself. What's all this nonsense? Every time, every time, every time, I have to stop out of Damon? Yeah, hi. Yes, um, I'm coming over to that place now. Okay, see you shortly.
Helsinki. Ja, welkom. Hoe zit je? Yes, ma. Yes. Thank you. Um, you might have to leave once the month ends. Why, ma? Uh, why don't something wrong? I'm really sorry. No, 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 no. Come on. You have not done anything wrong. Okay? It's just that we've been passing through, you know, some rough times. This time isn't really the best for us. But once everything is sorted, if you've not started work someplace else, we'll call you back. Okay, ma. There's nothing to cry about, okay? Okay. Okay. What kind of marriage is this? of carelessly like what God. which kind which kinds of a life be this yeah which kind but which kind of hardness which kind of bad news be this this one go hard though this one hard I don't understand but it seems we are out of job Hey, where will I go from here? Mm. Now, this will make her hate you. You did very selfish. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, you go from here. No, it's fellow this road go. What of me, we just marry? Eh? Yeah? I just got a new chassis engine. I'm about to be a car. 14, 14. I'm to be a car. Now, where am I going to take my wife to? My new wife. Eh? Yeah? Sinister. How can they just go broke overnight? How is it possible? How? You know what's going to happen, eh? You go there here, they ask questions. No go pack your load. Until that woman go ca ca carry your load, throw them aside. Yeah, don't they go? I go arrange my own. But Madam says it's the month end now. Let's just wait for Oga. Okay, let me pack my load first. Month end, you can pack your own load. Come and wait for Oga. Yeah? I can pack my load. Next month, you pack your load. With all these big, big cars they have. Oh. Eze, come and, come and help me. What kind of bad business decision did you take without even doing any market survey? I mean, how could you be that careless? But that decision flourished for the first few months. I mean, you're my account officer. You saw the amount of inflow and outflow that went on during that period. Okay? I, I, honestly, you saw how foreign investors from all over the world took up interest in that particular decision. Honestly, I don't know. From nowhere, I didn't see this massive flop coming. Do you have any remedy to this problem? That is why you're here. Because I need a bank loan. Okay? I need to build my life back. You know, the banks don't give loans as they used to do before. There are lots of things they check before they give out these loans. They have to spoon your account. Check your inflows and outflows, your transactions, the traffic in your account before they can grant any loan. And looking at the way your account is for some months, man, man, it's nothing to write home about. So it will be so difficult if you request, they may not give you that loan. But, but we can try at least. Okay, I've got collaterals, all right? I, I mean, with you in, on the inside, something can happen, something should happen okay nick i'll try but i can't make you a promise seriously i can't it's so difficult now hello honey hey honey welcome thank you um Igwe is not at his usual post. Any ideas where he went to? Oh yes, he should be on his way home by now. Home? Oh, I don't understand. What happened to him? Oh, nothing happened. It's just that um, I don't think we actually need domestic staffs now. 
you know, now that we can't really provide anything for ourselves. So I let them leave. So you don't think this storm is going to end anytime soon? <laughs> you don't think that I'm capable, you do not trust my capabilities of ending this? Nick, did you say trust? I should trust you. After everything that has happened, really? Honestly, I've lost faith, please. Okay. Well, I, uh, I just met with Damon. Oh. Yes, and he's promised to help me secure a bank loan. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, all of this will end. But I need my wife to support me, to stand by me. Anik, do you realize that loan needs a collateral? Of course. Okay, so what's your plan? Cars, house. What did you say? The house. <laughs> I forbid you in the name of everything and anything you hold sacred. You want to sell this house. Like uh, you want me to leave you. You want to take this house. And give it to the bank so as a collateral for your own Soviet bank loan. Is that it? Is that what you want me to do? You're sitting here saying it, you're not even ashamed of yourself, Nick. So a woman like me will keep quiet and then you render me homeless. I will hey, 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 hey! Stop it! Just hold it, Liz! I'm tired of all these things from you. I don't understand. You have 50 million naira comfortably breathing a gourmet in your account. And I came to you, asked you for support, asked you for assistance, and what did you do? You turned me down blatantly. And now you want to refuse me from getting this bank loan. Really? Nick, I am very, very happy that you can speak English. Because you just said, yo. My money, it is my money. The money that I gave you. And it is now mine. Do you understand it? It's in my account and it is mine. I see what's happening here. Yes, you need to see it, Nick. And you need to see it with your clear eyes. You think me, Liz, Elizabeth, will open her eyes and watch you take this roof over my head? Really? Make me homeless? Are you joking? Is something wrong with you? I thought you're mature. Let me watch you stop. I am going to stop you. I am going to stop you. Do you understand it? I will stop you, Nick, and I will stop every plan you have in your head. If you like, dream about another plan in your dreams. I will cut you and stop you. Rubbish. You want to render yourself useless and homeless, not me. You fail, and you will continue failing because I'm not ready to take any risk. Cynthia. Good morning, ma. Good morning. I thought I asked you to leave. Yes, ma'am. I want to stay around for one more week and help put things in place. I can't just leave like that. Moreover, you said month end. Thank you. That's very thoughtful of you. You're welcome, ma'am. And uh, where's this cup for? Oga. Take it in. Okay, ma'am. And uh, take the bread along with you. Yeah. Take the bread, lock it up in the fridge. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll get you the privileges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure you lock it. Honey, there's no food in the kitchen and the fridge locked. There's no food. I don't know why you see things and you still want to ask. I wonder the kind of answer you want to get. Yes, we're broke, but we can afford food. All right? Now, I need you to dip your hand in a joint account and take some money there and restock the kitchen, please. There is no money. 
I don't understand. The last time I checked, there was over a million naira left in that account. I used it. Used it for what? How? When? I used it for something very important. In fact, I wanted to tell you, but you were busy doing something that you felt was more important. Hey, <laughs> you're joking, right? I am not joking, Nicholas. I used the money to buy Ashwebi for Rosie's wedding. I cannot just allow my friends, you know, understand that I'm now living with a poor man. Poor man? Yes. I see. So things went under the water just for a couple of days. And now you can talk to me anyhow. Now, why didn't you dip your own hands into your own savings accounts to use? Why dip your hands in an emergency account and you wasted everything there? I don't understand. No, tell me. Why do you have your eyes so much in my own money? What do you want to use it for? Why? I already told you that I am not going to touch my money. It is my money, not our money. Do you understand it? Sort yourself out. I see. You have this money. Why not give your husband the money to salvage his losses? It is my money. And I have something in mind I want to use it for. <laughs> See. Remember when you met this guy, you kept on singing his praises. And now, what happened? This guy practically transformed you into the big lady you think you are today. I remember back then in uni, you could barely afford your textbooks. Yes. Why are you making it look as if I'm the bad person here? No, why? Give me a guarantee that if I give Nick my money, that he's going to multiply it for me. No, where's the guarantee? Nick is your husband. You should trust him. Remember, Nick was handling a lot of businesses. The fact that his business went down to jail does not mean he's a failure. You're not just going to understand it. Please make me understand. This is my money. And I have a project I want to use it for. Do you like? Thank you. Enough of me. Enough of my husband. Enough of all this. When am I getting my issue, be? I'll send it to your house um, tomorrow morning. And oh, I forgot to give you your husband um, your husband's invitation package. I'll send it across with you, Ashwabi. Send it. Please, that won't be necessary. Nick is not coming. Why? What is why? Don't you know what's happening? I don't want him coming. I don't want, he's not going to attend the event. Because when we get to the event, you know, people will be staring at us. People will be like, everybody knows what's up with Nick. What's up with this company? Like, he went bankrupt. And I, it's not fair. Or it's on all social media platforms. I can't stand it, please. I'm coming alone. So, Nick, you need to come to the office um, on Monday morning with the property papers. Let's take it from there. Thank you so much. I promise I will not disappoint you. Uh, Nick, why are you thanking me? Uh, what are friends for? I'm doing it for a friend. A brother. You're a lifesaver, bro. Thank you are you my so man. Much. Thank you. Thank you. At least now I can have a sip of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, drink up. Hmm? Nothing may happen. Liz! Elizabeth! Elizabeth! I need the property documents. What property documents? My house. Where is it, please? I need it. Demo is outside waiting for me. You don't have any property document in your name. Honey, please, if this is a joke, stop it. Okay? I need to buy off the remaining few shares. And if I don't, I'll lose everything. What property document are you really talking about? And what shares do you want to buy? What shares are remaining? Five or ten percent? Liz, 
I really do not have time for this, your taunting. I need those documents urgently. Oh, you have forgotten. Everything is in my name. All property documents are in my name. When you were busy gallivanting the world, pretending to be on a business trip. Leave me alone, please. Honey, what has come over you? You know those properties were purchased in your name because I was hardly around. Even if I were to be around, I would have purchased them in both our names. That's because you're my wife. And I've never considered you any different. Exactly. Exactly why I am being the wise person here to save us from being homeless. Nick, you failed. What is the guarantee that you will not fail again? You see? A friend of mine started importing and I decided to patronize her. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, and they are from top designers. And to think that they are cheap. And by cheap, how much? Hmm. The list here is 120,000 and they are about seven pieces. They'll look good on me. Wow. Yes. Cheap. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Yeah. You know, it's really amazing how... Wait, is it like I didn't hear you were 120,000, you mean? 120,000 by the number of pieces in here. Do you know how much that is? So you have almost a million to splash on these things. And yet, you can't help your husband when he needs help. Why are you this wicked? Oh, please, please, please. Eh? What is all this? What's your problem? Can't I just come back and we have a decent conversation without you bringing up all of this? Like over and over again, what is wrong with you? Liz, there is shortage of food supplies in the storeroom. Are you aware of that? Nick, it is your responsibility, not mine. Wonderful. So it is the responsibility of my money to be used for general stuff, while you, your own money, is good for saving and for personal stuff. Huh? Elizabeth, what are you still doing here? <laughs> Nick continues spewing nonsense. Came in here happily to show you something, and this is all I get. Is it not obvious that I'm going out? Hmm? It's not like you who has become a housefly. I've got work to do, Nick. Where are the papers? I don't understand why you keep asking me about these papers. You will still get the same answer, okay? Yes, Nick. You need to, you know, make dinner, cook something for us. I've already laid down the necessary things you'll be needing on the counter. And well, Cynthia is here, why do I have to do it? Well, Cynthia has got so many important things to do. Nick, you have got hands. Get them busy, please.
Okay. You're still around. Yes, sir. I hope you know that things are no longer the way they used to be. And we might not just be able to afford you. Okay, I know. I know. I know. Uh, see, Oga, okay, you'd be very good, man. You don't help me since for this house. No one I know gets anything. You help me. See why I got married the other day. That my tiara back. Chances. Now you pay for everything. Understand? Oga, okay, you'd be very good, man. You're just a good man like me. I they talk and say we know they plenty for this world. Just me, you. I'm not that man somewhere. Understand? So I go there with you. I don't say things will still happen again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, for me. Stay here. You are the right office. Chief is now around. He travel for like a week now. I'm his daughter, the new CEO. You can talk to me if it's business related. Alright, yeah. Can I see? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. So how may I help you? Okay, um I was actually hoping on seeing Chief himself because I wanted to ask him if he was ready to sell this, the remaining 5% shares that he has in the company, I really needed to build my life back. What is your name? My name is Nicholas Onibo. Nicholas. I know that name. The owner of the now defunct Bonnet Torex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you doing here? Okay, so um, like I said, I'm here to ask Chief if he was willing to sell the remaining 5% shares he has in the company. I really do need it to start all over again. You really have nerves, you know. You walked into my office. After everything you made my father go through. Miss Tonibo, Chief almost died of a heart attack because of your mistakes. All right, Chief is now around and we are not ready to do any business with you. Please, this is really important to me. Leave my office. C can you please give me another chance to right all my wrongs? How do you intend to do that? There is no savings in that company. Please, do not drag my father down any further. Please, leave my office. Please, I'm begging, please. Get out. Leave. Oh, imagine the gods. Cynthia! Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So, what are you doing? I was about preparing dinner. About that, I, I don't need you to bother yourself anymore. I'm, I've got special plans to cook dinner for my wife tonight. <coughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing, sir, but I don't think that is a good idea. Well, I insist. So if you have any plans, if you want to go anywhere at all, go ahead. <laughs> do whatever you want to do. All right? So should I bring fire extinguisher to the kitchen? <laughs> Don't worry about it. There won't be any need for that. All right, take care. Take care. You too. So good. All right. Yes. I 
prepared a very special dinner for you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's amazing. So, yeah, so would you like to go, you know, freshen up, put off your clothes? And... Maybe, I uh, am here already, I want to eat. Oh, no, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, okay hold that. Okay. Your cooking skills still remain the same. <laughs> this is sweet. I know. Do you remember those days when I baked for you on Valentine's Day? Oh yes, I remember. <laughs> I never knew you could bake. That's a, a part of me that I hate from you. Mm. And you hid it for so long. <laughs> for seven years in this marriage, Nothing really has changed. I have loved you the same. Baby. Mm -hmm. You are the best decision that I've ever taken in my entire life. I love you, baby. And I love you too, baby. I love you so, so much. <laughs> mm. Enjoy your food. Yeah, why are you being too sweet today? Huh? Can I be sweet to my wife anymore? Yes, you can. Enjoy your meal. Thank you, honey. So sweet. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. So how was work? Work was hectic. My project partner, he traveled. So I had to cover up for him. I see. And my boss, oh, she's something else. You know, she kept on nagging today about how Workers are inconsistent. Some bosses can be very mean. Mm, yeah. Whoa, babe. That's really cool. I don't know if that woman wants one of us to drop dead before she knows that we're working. Crazy. I... I went to see Chief. What for? I wanted to see if he was willing to share his company shares. You don't give up, do you? Huh? That old man has already told you to back off. Honey, I... I need some money. I need about 30 million naira. I will pay you back double. Money. So it's the reason for all this uh, sweet talk, the care, how was your day, the leg massage. Really? I told you already that I'm not giving you any money. I'm not touching that money, it's for something. And actually, if you're thinking that I'm going to give you the property papers, mm -mm. you failed, Nick. You really, really failed. Why are you being so mean? Huh? I'm doing this for us, you know. Please, I don't care. I can even massage my own leg myself. Hmm. Mm. 
I have tried everything. Everything that I know just to get some money from her. Even to transfer the property documents. All to no avail. Man, Nick, you sounding like you don't know women. Their money belongs to them alone. And your own money is for everyone. Huh? But not in all cases. Just, I know some friends whom their wives help set up. I guess I'm, I'm not just lucky enough. Man, Nick, Nick, don't tell me that. But what were you thinking, buying everything only on name? Well... She's my wife, okay? She's my everything. The bone of my bones. My better half. My fated partner. <laughs> I don't even know. Why are we having this conversation in the first place? Yeah, because I don't see any sense in doing that. Okay, so let's look at it from this angle, okay? I'm not always around. Whenever I travel, I send some money for, you know, all those transactions down here. So I just felt it was rational enough for me to, you know, transfer all my acquisitions and put it in her name. Since she's the one on ground to attend to it or follow it up. Well, and you don't have any regrets doing that? Of course not. Liz is my everything, okay? She's a good woman. Regardless of the fact that we're going through a very rough path right now, but trust me, she is a very good lady. I applaud you, man. Man, you're a very kind man. Man, if it was to be me, my brother, it would have been a different story. God knows. And what would you have done? You won't want to hear. I can't tell you because if I tell you, you won't believe it. He uh -uh. <laughs> hasn't got it up to there. <laughs> Honey. What happened to the remaining three cars parked outside? Oh. I've sold them. You what? I've sold them. But like, I mean, what are we doing with extra three cars when we can barely maintain one? And you didn't think to inform me? I don't understand, honey. I just felt like it wasn't necessary. Besides, you let me make these decisions myself. That was before the business collapsed. Well, I've sold them. Where's the money? What money? The money you made from selling the cars. Hmm? It's in my bank account. I told you that I'll be building my brand. I need money. The one I have is not even complete. I need 50 million. I have 42 now. It's remaining 8 million. Liz, is it that you're mad? Or are you a drive so much pleasure from frustrating me? I don't understand. Where were you coming from? And where are you coming from? Did anything happen? Huh. The rage. Huh. Nick, please. I am not equally happy with our situation. Do you understand it? I don't get why you are like this. I want to teach you business, how to make money. You know what? Yes, I'm starting a movie project, a very big one. And see, my first movie project is going to Netflix. Trust me. So just chill, relax. All you need to do is just go upstairs and take a bath. Relax. And you watch the way you use water, please. Maybe did anyone die? Person who go sell another person property. Eh, no go no. Eh? See, but me, I the wonder. Eh? How person will go sell another man property? In no go no. Eh? See, when I see them, they, where did they move that car? That they just move cars. No, no, say this movement no pure. Eh? When they rush them, they do transfer, give them a lot. Do transfer, give them a lot. Do transfer, give them a lot. No good. 
And she's very lucky she got married to a very responsible man like Organic. Now all this worry, we one or two don't come up for it. For the young boss, boss for this house every day. They for all kid that woman since. Bury him, chop rice and, and, and cook. Rubbish. And I see they this house now because of Ogao. If you want to reason Madame Lizzie's behavior, for don't jack by Tete. I know now. I see Ogao a very nice person. Mm -hmm. Now a very rare person like me. We know plenty. And I tell you this, you know they believe. We just did three for this world, me, okay, and one other guy in one country. We're just three nice people in this world. But don't agree now. Nah. I see finish. And the yeah, cost is still. Maybe your fault. So uh, how much is this one? So it's two hundred. Uh, uh, this one's two. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, do you accept transfers? No, sir. Ah. Hi. Right. So, um, where can I withdraw cash? There's a POS stand over there, so you can go there and withdraw. Oh, okay, okay. All right, just wait for me. Let me withdraw cash, okay? okay? So, should I pass Yes, it? yes, yes, please. How much? Uh, 10,000. Your pin. Password? Yes. So, how is the business going now? Not really bad, but it tracks when you don't have capital. Oh, okay. okay. It's complete, eh? Yes, it is. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. sell them. What are you, are you kidding me right now? No, I'm going to sell it and also sell whatever is left of the company I need to start all over again. Okay, I'm tired of sitting at home doing nothing. Oh, okay. So what business are you looking at starting? <laughs> You're not even bothered that I'm selling my clothes? I don't get it. You're a mature man. You're not a child. You're not a baby. So, if you made your decision, why should I bother? You really amaze me, you know. I should amaze you because I'm really concerned. You know, it's really good that you're selling the company. Because I was wondering, you putting too much money fruitlessly into that company that has already gone bankrupt. It was really foolish. But it's okay, I'm making amends. Thanks for your concern. You're welcome, my love. So. Excuse me. Your uh, Gucci sleepers are here. How much did you make today? I guess you're done from selling your clothes. No, don't, don't tell me. Let me guess. 10,000, 20. Yes. No, please. You can't take a joke. So, what is this business you want to go into? I'm making inquiries on how to set up a POS stack. <laughs> I'm so funny. Oh no, God. <laughs> ah. <sighs> Nick, when did you become a joker? 
I don't understand. When did this clown attitude come in? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Tell me I'm serious. What's this business? You know, I don't like. Tell me. I've told you already, okay? I'm hungry, right? Where's that? Cynthia! Cynthia! No, 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 please, 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 please. Nick, don't change the subject. You know I don't like jokes. My life is too serious right now to be playing expensive jokes, okay? Wait. Nick. A multi-million company owner. Now a POS operator. Nick. You're married to me, oh. It is me, Liz. Elizabeth. Is it me you want to embarrass? What could be more embarrassing than having a wife who would seize my property? And not only that, refuse to help me in any way. Tell me, Lisbeth, what could be more embarrassing than that? Nick, you will not do that to me. You see this thing you want to do now? It is not me you will do it. Do you understand? Me, 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 me all the time. Always sounding selfish. Why are you so obsessed with yourself? Every other person doesn't matter to you. Eh? Look. From now on, enjoy your life, enjoy your money, yourself, and let me live. Okay? It is you that will lose, though. About obsession. Am I not too okay to be obsessed with myself? You will lose, though. <laughs> hmm. Just bring that money you got from selling your clothes so that we can use it and fill up the water dispenser. Like that water is finished. Because I know that's the only thing we can afford. Me, I will lose. Like, stay on my own. I think I'll be scared. <laughs> Shouldn't you be happy? You've been praying for this pregnancy for the past seven years. So I can't keep it. I can't. Not with everything happening now. Can't you see? Nick is flat. Yes. How do I take care of this? Tell me. Nick is flat. Are you flat? Babe, you are rich. Can't you take care of your home without your husband's contribution? I can't. I cannot. Mm -mm. Okay, what do you intend to do? Get rid of it. Get rid of what? The baby. This thing. What do you think your husband will do if he finds out? And how is he going to find out? Look, you are insane. You are seriously insane. Nick is probably out there running around trying to better, make life better for you. And here you are trying to get rid of a pregnancy you've been praying for for years. Really? Seriously? You don't understand. There is nothing to understand and that is final. Look, if anything happens to this pregnancy, I am telling Nick, and I'm very, very serious about it. Yes! Hmm. You like? I actually thought you were joking about this, so Rose. Joking. <laughs> Even smiling sheepishly. No. <laughs> you want to spend millions of naira on a gift for your husband? Really? I thought a man is supposed to be the one gifting his wife something on their wedding night. Please. Give my phone. Thank you. Where is it written that only a man should give to a woman? Hmm. Giving and receiving gifts should go both ways. No. No, no, no. This, this talk is disgusting. Sorry. No. Forgive me, oh, Rose. I'm only trying to say that 
These cars are expensive. They are expensive. You know, you should buy something more cheaper for him. Something like a tie. Or maybe if you want to make it expensive, a suit. Or even boxes, designer pants. You know, you understand. Look, you see my husband. He has done so much for me and I really, really, really want to spoil him on our wedding day. And besides, he's been driving that Corolla for a very long time and he's been giving him issues. The other day I heard him talking to a car dealer about him wanting to change the car and then it occurred to me that if I'm looking for a gift for my husband, a car is ideal. Hmm. And I mean, getting him a good car when I can afford it. Okay, but I'm really sorry, Rose. You see, I don't support you on this issue. I'm not seeking your opinion. Then why are we having this disgusting conversation, please? I beg you. Just show, you wanted to show me please. the show me Let the me, material. Let me order for the car first. I'll go. So how much did the Dawson's buy of the company? 6.4 million. 6.4 million? Mm-hmm. So when am I getting my own cut? Eh? Hmm? Which cut? My own. Every single penny. See, that that money, the way it's coming, mm -hmm. is entering into my personal business. Okay? You don't have any share. Nick, are you saying that you're putting all your money into that business? Of course. Do you have any problems with it? No, I don't. Better. It's just that me, I'm going to be here with my legs crossed. Mm. Then you will come back and say, you told me, oh, I'll watch you fail again. Like God you. will forbid you. The God that I serve will forbid you. <laughs> Leave that thing. You failed already. POS business. POS. Igwe! Igwe! That's up. Why is she there? Uh, I hear one madam before that, so she come out. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, if she returns, tell her I would like to talk to the both of you. Okay, sir. I'll go tell her. Uh, but before then, uh, I want to go and see someone when I'm back. Okay, they come out. Uh, okay, sir. I did. I've forwarded everything you need to know to your email. So POS business in Nigeria is very, very profitable. You know, we have limited numbers of banks. So people find it difficult to go to the bank, queue up in the line and wait for them to get money or pay in money. They find it very difficult and discomforting. Mm -hmm. So if you can open one POS stand, very close to where the people live, mm. you see them, once they build that trust in you, I think they will come and patronize you. And before the day runs off, you might be making up to 10,000 to 20,000 daily. Oh, wow, what? Yeah. This whole thing sounds way difficult than I'd expected. Wow, how can you say that? <laughs> Tell me the business that is easy. You've been an entrepreneur for so long. You were once a serial entrepreneur. So you should know better, it's not easy. Just mind you, this one that you're entering, you pray not to get robbed. The one with God is protected. I have a very good feeling about this one. Mm. It's all good, Nick. It's all good. What will I do? As a friend, I only encourage you. But I don't think this business suits you. I think Lizzie is right this time. Cut that. Anyways, <laughs> um, what you're saying now is if I can set up one POS stand in five different places. 
At the yeah. end of the day, I'll be making nothing less than 50,000 Naira. Sure, probably. Wow. That yeah. sounds really cool. Yeah. So where does your bank come in? Uh, yeah, once you set up, get your kiosk, we'll assist you in everything you would need to request for the POS machines, to deliver it, to teach the people that are going to operate it. You know, everything will do it for you. Oh, wow. So once you set up the kiosk, just notify me. I will do it. I'll take off from there. Thanks a lot, bro. Thank you so much, You're man. I really appreciate it. I'll always be there for you, my guy. Thanks. So I called the two of you here to tell you I have started a new business. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. And a good thing. It's, it's nothing huge. Okay? Uh, it's better than not doing anything. Uh -huh. That's all I thought. Exactly. It's a POS business. Mm. And I intend on starting with the two of you. Uh, I'm opening a multiple stand, so... You know, I, I think it's wise to start with you two. I mean, you've proven to be my most loyal and trusted staff. I'm honored, sir. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. But okay, when would they start? I haven't started officially. But when I do, I'll inform the both of you. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bless you mm. both. Thank you, sir. My good thing, though. Mm. P.S. My good thing. I at all. It was bad. It's all right. So uh, the both of you can return to your different positions. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Can you imagine me? He just wants to destroy our reputation. Like rub everything that is left of it to the mud. I don't understand him. Do you know how fast the news will fly if the media ever gets to hear about the kind of business he does. P.O.S. P.O.S. Hmm. And what is wrong in doing a P.O.S. business? Yes. What is wrong in doing a P.O.S. business? Besides, you even brought this whole thing upon yourself. Hmm? Yes. If you had given him that money when he needed it to start a business, he won't, he won't take this route. And people who do POS businesses are making a living out of it. Rose. No, you can't survive in making a living. Really? Have you seen Nick lately? No, have you seen my husband lately? He practically sold all his good clothes. Like his expensive clothes. And I went to buy what? Cheap roadside clothes. Look, if you don't like what you see, change it. If you don't like the business he's doing, give him money to start a business. Oh, Rose, I need that money for my movie project. Then stop complaining. You are very, very lucky to have the tolerant and an understanding man in Nick. A lot of people will kill to have to have a man like him. So please just stop, stop with these complaints. Hey. Hey, 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 I am the one wearing the shoe. So I really don't expect you to understand where you're You're only bothered about what the media will say, the media this, the media that. Have you actually thought about the happiness in your home? So I called the both of you here to give you an update on what we discussed the last time. We are ready for business. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you very much. So, Cynthia. Yes, sir. You will be the one in charge of supervision. Okay? You will be a supervisor. I've got six different stands scattered around the city. Okay? Your job is to ensure that every worker is effective and report back to me. Yes, sir. Igwe. Okay. <laughs> you will be manning one of the POS stands. Okay. Yes. You see, the success of this business rests entirely on, you know, us working as a team. So, I'm not your superior. I'm not your boss. Okay? Everybody is equal. Okay? Understood? Okay, sir. 
So that's all I need. So I'm going to manage one POS. Yes. I'm going to go down that one umbrella. I'm going to be supervised, so I'm going to be supervised. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good. <laughs> Mrs. Your friend's wedding invite. And you didn't tell me about it. Um, I'm sorry, Nick. I forgot. Sorry, please. Our wedding is tomorrow. How am I supposed to get ready within a short period of time? Why are you making troubles out of this? You're not coming. Ah, I see. So you deliberately hid this from me. I don't understand you. What's the problem? I cannot risk my friend seeing you like this. This is a public event for God's sakes. What? And you stop pointing at me like that. So, you're ashamed of me now? With all due respect, Nick, it's not like I'm trying to say something that you and I don't know already. Have you looked at yourself lately? Have you, like, gone to the mirror and tried to check yourself out? You don't dress fine. Look at how you're dressed. Check your wardrobe. Nothing. Nothing decent. You dress like a bus conductor. And then when you sit down, God, you know, you get people turned off. Unimaginable things show because of your bad sewing. Don't know what to call it. Please. Wow. Wow. Okay, Nick, I'm sorry. Keep your sorry, please. Very important invitation. How's it going? Alright, they go well, no. They go. Small, small. Ah. Yes, sir. Okay. So I brought a new POS for you. Just in case the battery of the old one dies. Alright, makes sense. It's not there too now. Okay, that they go. Sir. Have you eaten? No, never chop, sir. But never they're hungry. If I'm hungry, I chop. Yes, sir. Uh, there's money there, so in case you're hungry, you can take some and sort yourself out, okay? Uh, if I'm hungry, I'll jump to this and drink it. <laughs> All right, uh, give me the old record book. Okay, the old one. Why are you not on your honeymoon? What are you doing here? We will have a fresh plan for our honeymoon. I don't understand. You and Benson had this beautiful, expensive wedding. Hmm? But with every wedding comes honeymoon. You should be in Paris or Maldives, you know, having the best time of your life. So what's there to plan? Look. Like you said, we had a very expensive wedding. Mm -hmm. And Benson and I spent a lot of money planning that wedding. Left to me, I would have wanted a very simple wedding. But since we had what we had, it's okay. So for the honeymoon, we will have a fresh plan for it. You know, sometimes I don't understand you. I mean, my life and how I choose to run it is not for the whole world to understand. <laughs> Anyways, how is plans for your movie project coming? That's why I'm here. Okay. I'm done with the script, but it's still undergoing, you know, some editing. But once I'm completely through with it, I'll send it over to you for proofreading. Okay. But I need a contact. I need to pitch this script to Netflix. Netflix? Mm. But Netflix only collects um, submissions from licensed agents. 
attorneys or executive producers whom they have a long-standing relationship with. Mm? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And, um, you know, any other submission is considered unsolicited submission and will not be taken seriously. Mm. However, I know someone who can help you here in Nigeria. Really? Mm -hmm. And who would that be? Um, Maureen Dawson. Maureen Dawson. Why does that name sound familiar? Chief Douglas Dawson's daughter. She's the new executive of Showtime Studios and she took over when her dad retired abroad. They are the people my husband sold what is left of his company to. Really? Yes. And Chief, who was a major stakeholder his shares reduced to 5% when that incident happened. Gosh. If Maureen finds out that I'm connected to Nick, how is she going to help me? How? Okay, um, why not try submitting with a different name? Maybe your maiden name or something. Do you think that will work? Well, I'm not sure, but you always <laughs> you always do what you want and get whatever it is you want so you can give it a try just a suggestion though hmm. i'll give it a try okay so let's cheers to new maiden name or whatever good business proposal mm. so there are which stands are these from you didn't just differentiate I did, sir. From here down, sir. Next time, try and make it bolder, okay? We'll probably use a color marker, okay? Okay, sir. You good? Well, okay. You guys did good. They did very good. I will uh, give you guys money for transports. Thank you, sir. Tomorrow. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. So, when I'm done with the account book, I will return it to you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Ah, shame. Big shame. What is it, Liz? Nick, don't you have shame? Try to understand how your brain works, but I can't comprehend. What is wrong with you? Tell me, how did it degenerate to this? And you seem to be very proud of yourself. From sitting in the boardroom with board members, to sitting in your living room with your domestic staff. I feel very bad for you, and I am ashamed of you. See, Nick, if this continues and I become very, very irritated, I will make this house hot for you. Is the house not hot enough already? <laughs> I think you should pour more kerosene to fire to make it hotter. Add more effort. Because all you have done is to put all my efforts to disrepute. Newsflash. I'm still standing. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. I am not, because obviously, there is something wrong with you. But I tell you again, you need to retrace your steps and not get me irritated any further. You will be the one to run away from this house from you, not me. Hmm. Let's not bet on it. No, let's not bet on it, because you will not try it. You won't like it at all. Your scripts. Okay. Here it is. In a flash. Okay. I will get back to you. But in case if it fails, do you have any plans of producing it yourself and pitching the movie to Netflix instead of the script? 
That was the original plan, but I am low on funds now. All right, we'll get back to you. Miss? Mrs. actually, Mrs. Johnson. Okay, I'll be seeing you around. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Bye. Okay. Please. I saw a script in our bedroom. How come you never bothered to inform me about this? Oh, I was thinking we do things differently now in this house, so I didn't see any need telling you. Hey, hey, you live under my roof, okay? You're my wife. So before you do anything or make any decisions, it is the right thing for you to inform me before starting any new venture, okay? Don't you forget though, I was once a business consultant and I'm still a business consultant. So I'm in the right position to advise you. <laughs> Yet you couldn't save your own business. Give me the hell of him, please. Listen to me. Entertainment industry is not as rosy as you think. All I'm trying to do is to help you not to lose uh, money. Worry about yourself, Mr. P.O.S. And leave me the hell alone. Eliza. Elizabeth. Not Eliza. Look, Elizabeth. P.O.S. man? Liz is so mean, no? Yeah, she mentioned she had this uh, project that she's looking for about 50 million naira to do. Yeah, and it was even statement made in passing, like she joked about it. You know, so um, she, she didn't even think to tell me about it. So, I don't know. So she has that money where you running around looking for whom to borrow you money? She sold some of our cards. What? Wait, wait, wait. Is it with your consent or without your consent, Nick? Oh, well, I'm just here waiting to see how she'll get through it. Man, I don't understand you. This is insane. Huh? So, what about the POS business? How is it going? To be completely honest with you, it's been dragging. It's more like that. It's better than nothing. Just keep pushing, okay? Yeah, I'm pretty much hopeful that it will pick up really soon. So, how far now? How's your business? And work is fine, my brother. Hey, that coffee pen not so without you. You built it from the scratch, but I lost it. You need to stop limiting yourself. I'm tired of hearing about your losses. Yeah? This is time for us to talk about how to rebuild. You need to build yourself, you need to bounce back. That job we're talking about, they need a consultant. You have to take it, and you're good. Just go there, get paid, use the money, and get yourself fixed up. Bounce back again. You can own a bank tomorrow. You wouldn't know. Like a microfinance bank? Sure. That's a really big dream, you know. Yeah, and you can achieve it. I know that. Okay. Yeah, it's so difficult now, but... I know. something with you but I don't know I can't tell when and how since you've been pretty much unstable lately unstable why do you like using bad words bad English and you're a graduate for that matter I have been busy busy and I am still busy Nick 
It is about my business. I son. don't want to hear it. Nick, uh -uh. what is it? I don't want to hear because everything that will come out from your mouth is concerning that your POS nonsense. And I don't want it, okay? Can't you just hear me out? I No, no. I said no, I will not. Okay? Because you want to piss me off for that. What's wrong with you? Is that the only thing you know how to talk about? Is it? Stand this now. It's the problem. Come on. Elizabeth. Liz. Fill out those forms, there's a space for your grand tour. We we'll prefer someone really close to you, like your husband. Okay, that's fine. And uh, so here. Okay, just for you. Didn't the secretary tell them it's a client, Mr. Nibu? I'm sorry, I do not see anybody in the front of us. Sit. What are you doing? What? Um, I'm going to sign this form and then I'll get it back to you. Do you two know each other? Yes. She no! She um, you know, do we... I don't know this man. I've never seen him before. Um, thank you so much. I will sign it and I'll get it back to you, alright? Thank you so much for this. I'll okay, we'll be back to you, Mrs. Johnson. Alright, thank you so much. I really do appreciate this. Bye. So what have you decided? I'll take the job. Great. Yeah. Because you'll be working with that lady that just left. You are trying to pitch her movie to Netflix. And you have to help her through the process. Okay. So we'll discuss your salary over lunch break. That would be great. Alright. I don't know you can get an office if that is what you want. Oh no, I would rather stay mobile. You know I have other businesses to take care of, remember? Yeah, I know that. Okay. Right, no problem. Thank you very much. It's nice having you. Ah, yes. Can you just calm down and explain to me what is going on? It is Nick. Nick just appeared into that office out of the blue. Like a mini deity. I don't know why. Are you being serious right now? That Nick is your husband. Yes. Like this whole attitude of yours is beginning to get on my nerves. You have really transformed into something I cannot even explain. What? Cut that guy some slack. Put yourself in his shoes. Let, no, let's flip the coin for a minute. No, 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 for a, a second. If he is the one treating you the way you are treating him. What would you do? No, Rose. What am I doing wrong? Really? Yes, tell me what I... You're not down for your lectures now. Lectures? Lectures, you say? I really, really hope you know what you're doing. I really hope you know what you are doing. Rose. And business is built on trust. Trust holds business. I started with a lie. L-I-E. Lie. I am Mrs. Johnson. And I have to continue with this lie. Are you being serious? At the expense of your marriage. Just in case you have forgotten that you are married. I don't, I don't understand you. I hope you know what you're doing. And you don't end up pushing him. And when he reacts, these shoulders are not ready for your premium tears because it will happen. I am not available. No, 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 no. I don't understand it. How can he just appear into that office like that? Like a mini deity. Where are you coming from? I 
I went about my business. Why is that a problem? Business? Hmm. Well, what was all that thing that transpired in Mrs. Morin's office today? Mrs. Johnson. Is that your other maiden name? So? Oh. I see you really do not have any remorse for the things you do now, right? Liz, I have been patient and tolerant all this while because I am a man who believes in the institution of marriage. Regardless of the kind of woman that I married and what she has turned into. So do not for a second, do not ever think that you can push me. Nick, I have done nothing wrong. So, where is all this pep talk coming from? Yes. You must listen to this pep talk today. This, enough is enough. I've been holding this in for so long. Tell me, what is it I have done? All I have done is to love and honor you. Every single thing that I have, given to you. Everything that I have worked for in your name. Because I do not consider you as my wife only. I consider you as my better half. Please Liz, do I really deserve all of this? What have I done wrong? Wait. Did you use the word Consider that you consider me your wife. I forgive you. But like I said, I have done nothing wrong. Do you understand? It was for a good cause. So I don't know where is all this emotional talk coming from? Are you now into blackmail? Blackmail? Mm-hmm. You call denying your husband in the open blackmail and you really do not see anything wrong in that. Wow, you really amaze me. Listen, listen Nick, please. This is business. I went for business and you know, I don't expect you to understand it. This is really, really important to me. And I beg you with everything you hold sacred. I don't know the kind of God you serve, but please don't mess this thing up for me, okay? Thank you. God bless you. <coughs> can pass for the part. Madam, you haven't paid yet. Manifest. <laughs> Your account number. Well, I don't do account things. I do cash. I prepared for you. Better. Here. Um, please, don't disgrace me in there. I'm sorry, madam. I've read everything and I have them at heart. You see, I'm a professional in this, so you have nothing to worry. I just hope you do your part very well. 
Madam, I'm a professional husband, so don't teach me my work. Hmm? It's okay. Good. We can go, my wife. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> mm, I like that. Um, this is my husband, Mr. Johnson. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Johnson. Nice to meet you too, madam. Okay, we have proffered your work. Have come to a conclusion. Um. Congratulations, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> Who would like to partner with you to co-produce and pitch your movie to Netflix instead? Really? That's a great news. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So this is the agreement papers. Go through it and sign with your husband. Okay. And um, please, excuse me, madam. Before we sign the document, please, can I see my wife outside for just one minute? Is everything okay? It's a problem. Come with me now. Okay. Um, one minute, please. Fine. Shall we begin? Um, no, please wait. Yes, why not? Let's go ahead and no, sign it. No, 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 please just hold it a second. The thing is, I would need um, a little time to go through this, through the agreement, and then uh, you know think about it so that both parties can be happy. That's fine by me. Take your time. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate it.
How is business? How is it going? What business? The POS business. So if I tell you that it's failing, you now say, eh, you told me so. No, no, no. Honey, I'm really serious. I just want to know how it's going, really. It's doing great. Okay. I'm proud of you. I really am. And I love you. I'll just go make us dinner. still doing this or not? Oh yes, sure we're doing it. It's just that my husband is out of town. But when he comes in, he will definitely sign the document. Okay. Okay. Mr. Nicholas here will be working with you. He's a business general consultant. He's very good in business. I am more than honored. Nick, Mrs. Johnson, your first client. Oh, I see. Finally, I get to meet you, hmm. Mrs. Johnson. Yeah, um, Mr. Nicholas, nice to meet you. Too. He did the market survey, identified the weaknesses, and recommended a solution before saying we should give you a chance. <laughs> well, I would not <laughs> take all the glory myself. It was as a result of teamwork. You need to give yourself more credit. You're very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, um, we're done here, so I'm going to see you later, right? Okay, thank you so it. much. All right. hates me. Why did he still find it important to defend me after all the horrible things I did to him? Look, because you are his wife. He is your guardian. And as your husband, he is only performing his duty to protect you. I hired someone to pretend that he was my husband because I was, you know, ashamed of him. You see, this thing called love is very deep. He still loves you regardless. I even forgot he was once my everything. And now? He still is. So, it is never too late to do the right thing. I have done horrible, horrible, like too many horrible things. Come here. Look, your husband loves you very much. And he is ever ready and willing to accept you back with his arms wide open. Just, just give yourself that chance. Finding me in that position, like that embarrassing position, and he still defended me. It makes me feel so ashamed of myself. I was even thinking that you know, we were in a competition or something. Well, you see, obviously, you've been fighting and competing with yourself alone. Just do the right thing. Your husband really, really loves you. Even when he had the opportunity to take that contract away from you, he still defended and protected you. But don't you think it's too late? It is never too late. <sighs> Just do the right thing. I'm going to try. 
Hello, Birdie. How are you doing? Yes, I have already forwarded it to your email about a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, sounds nice. Okay, what about uh, me taking you out for lunch later today? Hmm? Come on, Miss Dawson. A little break would hurt. Okay, coffee? Okay then. Yeah, that's fine by me. I'll see you later today. Yeah. Are you going out? Yes. Any problem? Oh, no. No problem. Good. know what I'm talking about. Nick, I am your wife! Listen. Nick, I am your wife. Do you mind if I help? 
You? Help me. Yes. But you can just teach me. Uh, okay. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so, um, this was sales made from day one. I'm trying to reconcile it with the sales made from day three. Um, honey. I'm sorry, but I just need to ask. You came home very late last night. Oh. Why didn't you tell me you were helping me work on my project? I didn't see the need to. So like I said... I, uh, why are you helping me? That's because I was paid heavily. I didn't think you could do it. You know, you were capable. I just hope I'm able to live up to your expectations. I'm sorry. I truly am. I mean it. All right, so back to this. Well, the evidences are here, so it's clear enough and it's pretty self-explanatory. Liz cooked for me. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, you know, this is what some women usually get up to when they are up to some mischief. Yeah. Right? They act mm. all sweet. And the moment you get comfortable, they strike. Mm, true. Your sore relationship with your wife is the reason why so many young people today are scared of getting married. Oh, come on. Marriage is a sweet thing. Don't get me wrong. Okay, especially when you get it right. Especially when you marry someone who is very understanding. I mean, look at you. Are you not happy? Yeah, definitely I am. Very happy. So your marriage should serve as an inspiration to some. Yeah, you're making sense. Um, but Nico, when are you coming to pick up your clothes in my house? Man, those your clothes are occupying lots of space. Not to worry. When I'm done paying, I'll come <laughs> for it. <laughs> come off that, Nick. You know you're not in me. When will this acting stop? When she comes to her senses. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm so happy uh, you're getting better. You're looking better now. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. Wow. Please, can you help me go over the agreement papers? What agreement papers? For the movie contract. Huh, I don't understand. I thought your other husband is your guarantor. The last time I remember, you had another husband. Baby, I'm sorry. What exactly are you sorry for? Hey, Liz. Tell me. The fact that you looked me in the eye and you denied knowing me. Or is it the fact that you seized all my property documents? <laughs> Liz. For three months. Three months, I lost everything. And you made my life a living hell. Baby, I know. And that's why I'm saying I'm sorry. Look, I'm, I'm really not in the mood for all of this, okay? As you can see, I'm busy. Eh? So all these things is a distraction to me. So please, I don't have time for this. Baby, please.
But now when you have the company back, why do you still need to erect a POS stand? Because the people need it. Yes. I did a recent survey and I discovered one thing. That most of these banks, which all these traders and business people, even the POS people report to, are usually very far from the towns. You know, some of them undergo a lot of risk, like robbery attacks after they are done banking and depositing their daily sales. So I figured, why not build a microfinance institution? Yeah, instead of owning just a POS stand, I can build a microfinance institution in at least three of the towns once every year. You know, that way it's accessible. And I mean, you're a banker yourself. <laughs> you're already in the system. That's why you're here. I need you to supply me what I need, the right kind of information. Yeah, that makes sense. I think um, I'll be glad to help. To my friend, I'll do that. I trust you. You need my mom. You were thinking. What are you thinking? You're trying to kill my own child? Do I even know you anymore? Yes, you know me, baby. I don't. I doubt. I honestly doubt. I think you do. I'm sorry. How do you think that would make me feel? Terribly hurt. <sighs> Baby, I'm so The thought of this has completely shattered me. Yes. Yes. What on earth were you thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. <laughs> Where have I gone wrong? Tell me, I bought all my properties and put them all in your name. Please, you made a joke of me. Huh? Who on earth thought you or gave you the, the impetus to do all the things you did to me? Baby, I'm sorry. Please, no, 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 I beg you. No, 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 it's not about being sorry or going on your knees. It's not going to solve anything, so please. I should have asked you to leave this property this minute, but you, it's already in your name, so you can keep it. Okay? At your settlement. And the fact that you're carrying my child, you're pregnant with my baby, that makes you my responsibility. <laughs> So I'm going to try as much as I can to visit as often as I can, as much as I wouldn't want to. But I'll try. Plus, I'm still a business consultant. Nick, I am sorry. Baby, I am very, very sorry. If there's anything you want me to do to make up for all of this, I will simply Liz. do it. I'll do it right away. Liz. I can't live without you, baby. Liz! Thought, yes! Oh, God. <laughs> marriage a long time ago. Baby, do this. I, I, all I would been doing was trying to hang on to see if you could retrace your steps. But now that I'm done, it's time for me to go. No, baby. Baby, you are not going anywhere. Baby, please have retraced my steps. No, I'm not leaving leave, you. Leave my leg. Baby, we need you. I have leave my leg baby. Alone. No, I'm not leaving. Baby, please. Baby, please. Nick, please. Oh, oh God. Nick, please. Sadness, 
I'm actually enjoying where I am at the moment. Okay, I'm living a very peaceful life now. She's sorry and very miserable. It's been four whole months. Please just try and talk to her. But I talk to her. On a business level. Talk to her as your wife. Please. I know you both still love each other. That's why you've not filed for a divorce, right? What kind of a woman would even think of taking an innocent child's life? What kind of a woman would think of such a thing? Even if I may forgive. What about the scars in my heart? Nick, please. She is very sorry. Look, if not for anything, for the child in her womb. I know the effect of growing up in a broken home. That child does not deserve any of this. That child is innocent. It shouldn't be punished because of the mother's sins. Please, for the sake of that innocent child, try and talk to her. Just... Nick. Baby, please. I'm sorry. The baby is still here and he's healthy. The doctor said so. They touch our child. That's, that's Rose. Rose, right? Yes, yes. Please. Baby, I'm sorry. Please. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 